Can you stop it? Please. It's so distracting. Does that say no, 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 no? No, it was what? It just kept saying what? 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 Welcome back uh, to another or the last. Well, I'm not sure what episode this. I think it's the last episode. I think it's, it might be Friday. It might be Thursday. It might be Saturday. It might. This episode might not even come out because I could die tomorrow. It could. No, actually, <laughs> let, let's let's uh, let's be honest. If if it happened, Corey would have to put it out. He'd put me out. What are you saying? He's going to set me on fire. It was funny because we'll, when we'll come, <laughs> no, it was okay. I, I, I had something going through my head. I was not going to say. Um, so we're we'll, coming over to Corey's place because that's where we record now because it's he's got we've got the offices here now, which is great because it's not in my room anymore. Um, and we're driving past the church that's nearby. Well, one of the churches that's nearby because there's about sixteen fucking churches around this house. Yeah. Um, it's apparently holy ground. I don't know how he doesn't burn up to a crisp. Exactly. Really. Um. But we were driving past, and there was a, like a bunch of people standing out in front of this church, mm, um, yeah. in black clothing. And I'm like, "Oh, it must be a wedding or a funeral." And yeah, that and goes, then and I, they, then I point out, I'm like, "Hey, look, it's a hearse. It's a funeral." What did I do? What did you do? Yeah, you, you were like, "Oh, a marriage funeral, same thing." No, no, I laughed. You laughed. You laughed because you. I like, laughed because I went, "Oh yeah, there's a hearse," and started laughing. Yeah, because. <laughs> and then you're like, "I was like, why am I laughing?" Anyway, um, the reason... I don't know why I brought that up. I just remembered it then because, you know, random conversations. And I just like to point out... I was talking about Corey being a bad person. So I thought maybe I should talk about how much uh, of a bad how person... How much a bad person you are. Well, yeah, you know. You, are, so what, you are what you eat. Garrett. So insensitive. You are what you eat. And so tomorrow I want to be you. Use that for a pickup line, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Say it. Tell Jared told you. Uh, <laughs> um... Anyway, we're talking about like age and video games in the last episode, and I wanted to bring up a point. Mm-hmm. Here, here's something that you probably don't realize. Do you know you're considered old in video games now? Oh yes, you, like you, ancient. What? Well, because you like the first the console that you probably played was thirty, almost forty years old. Yep. How does that make you feel? I feel like I should be going into retirement home. <laughs> I mean, not yet, but not yet. soon. Soon. Um, like. The first console I had was the Atari 2600, which was bought out in the 80s, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it was the 80s. Fucking die! Um, early die, 80s. die! 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 And I mean, I was born in the early 90s, and that's fair enough, but, you know, when you think about it, when people ask, what was the first game they played? 1978 for America. 1977 for America, and it doesn't really have an Australian release. Um, so it probably was released in the sometime in the late 70s, early 80s, anyway. The reason why I'm saying this is because I, I was watching something and there's a lot of people our age. Now, I'm not saying because of your age, you're old in video games. What I'm trying to say is is because you've been playing games for probably 20 years. Mm. So, it's funny when you walk up to someone your age and you go, what playing- was the first game you played? And they go, Call of Duty. Because I can tell you right now, the first game I pro- that I remember playing uh, was it was a rail shooter. Oh, I can't remember the name of it though. It was like an old Western rail shooter. Western rail shooter on on the Atari. Old Man McCree. Ah um, no. Old Man McCree. Oof, I I. I actually don't remember. <laughs> of course you're going to search up McCree and that fucking comes up. What did yeah. you expect? Was that a console game or was that a... That might have been the first arcade game I played. Ah, oh, yeah. Because if you're thinking about like a rail shooter and that, uh, I wouldn't say it would not It would not be something like um, something on Atari or that. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. I remember my first rail shooter. What's that? Time, Time Crisis. Crisis. Oh, yeah, 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 Time Crisis. Then uh, my second one was uh, point, point Blank. See, Point Blank was one I played a lot on the PlayStation 1. Yep. Did you have the gun? Well, we certainly did. Don't oh, be yeah. silly. Um, I actually want to buy the uh, G-Con guns, buy a fat CRT TV, just so I had Point Blank. It was an old gun. Western shooter, and it was real life. It was like a real life shooter, like it was real. Like with real, like it looked like real people. No, it game. was real people. Oh, I don't know what it's called. Um, I can't remember, but I remember playing it at an arcade. 
Mad Dog McCree. That's what it's called. Yep. Um. That's a lot. 1990. 1990? Wow. Yeah. That was the first arcade game I remember playing. Um. It wasn't good. It was far from it. Would you actually would you classify um, pinball machines as an arcade game? Oh, of course. My first. But I wouldn't. Well, first, I, my, I wouldn't consider it a video game. My first arcadey sort of machine I got to play with was a Star Trek pinball machine. That's pretty fucking cool. But yeah, Mad Dog McCree. Yeah, my um. That was uh, that was the first arcade game I remember playing. Um, again, was not good. It was pretty fucking bad. If anything, it was probably one of the worst games I've ever played. Um, <sighs> yep, that's the one. 1979 uh, pinball machine, by the looks of it. Yep. Um, was it Star Trek Next Generation, or was it original Star Trek? Uh, I can't really tell. I think it was Next Generation. Oh, yeah, no, I see, I like see Picard. I yeah. see Picard sitting there. Um, but, yeah, um, when I was living in a small, t small rural town... Living in America? Country, living in America. <laughs> Sorry, Rocky. We were talking about Rocky before. Um, and I've never seen them. Yeah, they owned a pinball machine and they had it in their um, games room. They also had a pool table. They were like rich as hell. Um, and my parents, we used to go over there because I was friends with the kid next door. And um, yeah, we were able to play the pinball machine. And, you know, they had the key. They just took it out. They're like, just press this button you can play. And we were like five, six years old playing with the pinball machine. Nothing wrong it with that. It was fun. Um, though apparently the first game I played was Alex Kidd. Um... Not that I remember that really well, because I had the Atari 2600, obviously. No, no, that's the first game I remember playing, but I've, I apparently played other games before it, but I don't remember them, because on the Atari 2600, obviously I probably played games like your, um... What was on the Atari 2600 that was like, um... Ga <laughs> Galaga? No? Uh, oh... Space Invaders? Well, oh, I played that. Um, um, or Galaga, whatever Tangles calls it. Galaga. Galaga. You know, he calls it whatever it is incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, like every everyone calls it Galaga now for some reason. My mum's like, it's Galaga. I'm like, yeah, no, it's Galaga. <laughs> but it's but because you know, how, being, how, how would you like it if I called you Rebuka? But it's funny because you can't be a young person and be old in gaming, but you can be an old person and still be young in gaming. Yeah. That's funny because. What I'm trying to say is, a young person's also walked to me and I've said, what's the first game you've played? Hmm? Um, and they're like, oh no, the first game I ever played was on the Super Nintendo. But I'm like, you're still 11, so you're still considered young in gaming. Hmm? See, I still remember the Super Nintendo, when, when did that come out, 93? 92? Oh, I would have no clue on that one. Um, I would, if I had to give a get, a guess... I'd say that would be like... 92. 90, 92. I, I think it's 92. Well, in Australia, it was 92 at least. Yeah. Um, I don't really remember that come, when it came out, but I remember playing it. I remember coming going over to friends' places all the time to play with their Super Nintendo because I didn't have one. Mm. Um, I would have loved the Super Nintendo. Um, I had one and then I got rid of it because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Um... Shit, it got discontinued in 2003. That's a wow. long lifespan when you think about it that way. Well, 2003, well, they're already... It, it was discontinued here years and years ago, but you know, what a lot of people don't know, but the uh, they were still heavily popular over in Japan over the past over the past decade. Oh. And yeah, well, that, that was the Super Famicom, was it not? Yeah, but you, you were able to get, like, different peripherals, so you can actually play, like, um, American games and that on it, and... That's how the lifespan got, you know, pushed for it. Okay. All right, well, we've been told we need to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. um, sorry that I didn't finish this game this week, but I did a fair bit and I got a lot of jiggies. Um, cross your fingers and hope that I finish this game next week. Yeah, hope so. So thank you for watching, people. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and tell us what was the first game or console you ever played. Mm. Instead of you throwing it out there, I want to throw it out there yeah, this you time. Yeah, it's all you. It's all you. <laughs> it's all me. It's all me. Bye. Bye. Oh, shit. <laughs>